Liberty University. All right, so whether we want to believe it or not, August is coming to an end, and that means that it's time for school again. So whether you've already started or you're not starting until next week like I am, or if you're not even starting till September, either way, it's just about time for another school year to start. So I'm gonna do a school-related video. Hold your applause. I know, you can't contain yourselves, but you, you have to. For the sake of this video, contain yourselves and hold your applause, please. Okay, thank you. All right, so since I'm a college senior, I'm gonna be giving you incoming college freshmen a few tips on how to get through that first semester because I know from experience, the first semester is definitely the roughest one. So let's get started. All right, so the first tip is to not overwork yourself in your first semester. If you're gonna be taking four or five classes, then try not to work more than 20 hours a week. I know you still need money and all that, and you think, well, I need to work more hours because I've got bills to pay. You need to kind of take time in your first semester to get used to how the classes work because it's a lot quicker paced than high school and the work is harder. Even if you think it's easy, it's harder. So you just kind of want to take that first semester to kind of get used to everything. For me, I would say for your own mental sanity, take four classes and don't work more than 20 hours a week. The second tip kind of goes along with that, which is to never underestimate a class. It doesn't matter if the professor is like your best friend or if you think because you've always been good at math or science or history or whatever, that this one's just gonna be a breeze. Because like I said in the last tip, it's it's different in college. You gotta get, it's a lot quicker paced. It's a lot more work. It's actually a lot more in depth too. So there's a lot more to remember. Just don't ever underestimate a class based on a professor, whether you're good at the subject or just, I don't know, any other reason that you could underestimate that class don't do it. Hey, it's I knew I knew she would interrupt some way or another. So next time she interrupts, it's gonna be coming through the door over there. So tip number three is pretty much common sense, but it is to get rest and eat well. As a college student, sometimes it's hard to find time to eat a really good meal or even to get enough sleep for the next day. Tip number four is to always get some kind of head start on your papers. All right, now I know some of you out there are kind of like, well, I do all my papers all in one shot because that's just how I am. I'm that way too, but trust me, it helps a lot when you at least do the research ahead of time. It's so much easier when you have all the research done and then all you have to do is just kind of just go through all the papers you have, you know, the highlighted parts you have, the notes, whatever. Just get the research done early and then do the paper you know, three weeks later or the day before it's due because I'm guilty of that. I probably will do that again the next two semesters. And if I decide to go for my master's, I will probably do it then too. But take it from me, just at least get the research done ahead of time and your life will be so much easier. Tip number five is to make sure you talk to your advisors and your professors. If you're having any trouble in class, don't be afraid to go to your professor and I know this is said so much, even in high school, talk to your teachers. It really helps. And along with that, make sure you talk to your academic advisor. More than likely, it's gonna be one of the professors that you're gonna have, so it might be a little easier to talk to them. I've said this before, I love my advisor, and I've also had her for a few classes. And she's an amazing professor. She loves to help you, and whether it's for academic advising or if it's for class, she loves to help. So. Hopefully you'll have luck and have a professor who's as amazing as mine is, but I know that's not always the case. If, if it is the case where your academic advisor or some professor isn't exactly helping you, then go find another one to talk to. There are plenty who are willing to help. What's up, sucker? Okay. Told you she interrupt. All right, thanks to Vicky back there. Tip number six is to not gain the freshman 15. Don't overeat, make sure you exercise. Don't gain the freshman 15. All right, so the very last tip is to get your textbooks anywhere other than your college bookstore because it will cost you an arm and a leg and probably another leg. That's how much college textbooks cost. What you can do is go to textbookrentals.com and price them from like Amazon, eBay, wherever and get a better price on them, or like me this semester, rent them because it's so much cheaper and you don't have to worry about 
if they don't buy it back because I've had plenty of times where I want to sell my book back to the store and they're like, oh, we're not taking it back this year. So that's pretty much $100 that I don't have anymore. My advice would be to rent your books if you can. And if not, find the cheapest place to get them used. I would suggest Amazon. All right, so that's all the tips I have for you incoming college freshmen. Use them well, and I will see you guys next week.